I would like to thank the National Organization for Women for their Women of Courage Award. I'm going to share with you what gave me the courage to reach my North Pole goals. Everyone in this room has a North Pole goal. Everyone in this room has a dream. They're all in the same. It could be a house, a bigger house, maybe one of those fancy sports cars, <laughs> academic goals, an exotic vacation with an exotic lover. <laughs> a new job, or maybe a divorce. <laughs> that could be a goal also. Now, I'm going to give you some of the tools that I use. However, in the privacy of your mind, Ask yourself, what is my goal? What is my dream? I would like to say, I'm going to give you the tools that I use to reach my North Pole goals. What do we have in common? have in common is that we are durable, versatile, we have the extraordinary engine that drives us, and what is it called? A woman. A woman. Come on folks, let's make some noise. Let's make some noise. Inside of us is a giant. You can let it breathe or you can suppress it. If you stand in your own way, your true giant will not emerge. Everyone has this giant within them. If you leave here with one thing from me today, is that what's inside and I want everyone in this room to walk out feeling that giant pulsating inside. By standing in your own way, I mean that you find excuses for what you don't want to do. And when you stand in your own way, you take roots and just sink. It's always someone else's fault. You know people like that? <laughs> always someone else's fault for what I can't do. It's the lady in the supermarket. It's the woman at the desk next to me. It's my job. It's my husband. Oh, it's the dog. It's the cat. <laughs> It never ends. And what happens is you become bogged bog down in I woulda, I shoulda, and I coulda. And if you subscribe to those words, in the end, you're in for a big surprise because there will be a big zero. To reach your goals, your dreams, you will need flexibility and perseverance. It took flexibility, I'll use that as an example, when I was at base camp and on my way to the North Pole. Constant adjustments, everything is weather. Whether you live, whether you die, whether you eat, whether you sleep, it's all weather. <laughs> For 
for example, at base camp, you have not lived until you, your contortionist, you get into the sleeping bag, you have your camera, and that's really romantic to reach out and feel this cold camera. <laughs> And then, as you finally settle in, nature calls. <laughs> now, this is a pet peeve of mine. I am now negotiating with a garment manufacturer for clothing for people, or women especially, who are involved in hobbies or adventures at temperatures below zero. And I say to him, because I don't pull any punches, women should not be required to grow a penis to <laughs> enjoy certain activities. Now, avoid negative people. Negative people will suck the light blood out of you. So often I've been asked, oh Barbara, when you're ready to go, did you go with anyone? Don't wait for people. Don't wait for people. Because after you make all your plans, your friend is going to come up, sorry, and say, oh, my husband's pregnant, I can't go. <laughs> now you're stuck and you have to either not go or pay a single supplement, which can be almost 50% of the actual cost. Now, what did negative people tell me? They said, Barbara, You'll never reach the North Pole. You are a lung cancer survivor. Your lungs will never take it. I said, all right. Others told me, you would be eaten by polar bears. Now, I photographed polar bears long before I thought of going to the North Pole. I photographed polar bears up in Manitoba, Canada, and they are truly beautiful in their natural habitat. They are magnificent. However, they are not impressed with you. <laughs> now, I learned how to ski at the age of 75, and regarding polar bears, if a polar bear decides to eat me, I cannot blame him for wanting to taste some good soul food. You're going to die up there. <laughs> Tell me, when is the last time you've seen a black, Hispanic, or Latino frozen to the side of a mountain? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> 